Yashar, Jasher 33. And in some time after Yaakov went away from the borders of the land, and he came to the land of Shelem, that is the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, and he rested in front of the city. And he bought a parcel of the field which was there from the children of Hamor, of the people of the land, for five shekels. And Yaakov there built himself a house, and he pitched his tent there, and he made Kukot for his cattle. Therefore he called the name of that place Kukot, and Yaakov remained in Kukot a year and six months. At that time, some of the women of the inhabitants of the land went to the city of Shechem to dance and rejoice with the daughters of the people of the city. And when they went forth, then Rachel and Leah, the women of Yaakov, with their families, also went to behold the rejoicing of the daughters of the city. And Dinar, the daughter of Yaakov, also went along with them and saw the daughters of the city. And they remained there before these daughters, while all the people of the city were standing by them to behold their rejoicings. And all the great people of the city were there. And Shechem, the son of Hamor, the prince of the land, was also standing there to see them. And Shechem beheld Dina, the daughter of Yaakov, sitting with her mother before the daughters of the city. And the damsel pleased him greatly. And he there asked his friends and his people, saying, Whose daughter is that sitting amongst the women? whom I do not know in this city. And they said unto him, Surely this is the daughter of Yaakov, the son of Yitzhak, the Ivri, who has dwelt in this city for some time. And when it was reported that the daughters of the land were going forth to rejoice, she went with her mother and maid servants to sit amongst them as you see. And Shechem beheld Dina, the daughter of Yaakov. And when he looked at her, his soul became fixed upon Dina. And he sent and had her taken by force. And Dina came to the house of Shechem, and he seized her forcibly and lay with her and humbled her. And he loved her exceedingly and placed her in his house. And they came and told the thing unto Yaakov. And when Yaakov heard that Shechem had defiled his daughter Dina, Yaakov sent twelve of his servants to fetch Dina from the house of Shechem. And they went and came to the house of Shechem to take away Dina from there. And when they came, Shechem went out to them with his men and drove them from his house. And he would not suffer them to come before Dina. But Shechem was sitting with Dina, kissing and embracing her before their eyes. And the servants of Yaakov came back and told him, saying, When we came, he and his men drove us away. And thus did Shechem do unto Dina before our eyes. And Yaakov knew, moreover, that Shechem had defiled his daughter. But he said nothing, and his sons were feeding his cattle in the field. And Yaakov remained silent till their return. And before his sons came home, Yaakov sent two maidens from his servants' daughters, to take care of Dina in the house of Shechem, and to remain with her. And Shechem 
sent three of his friends to his father, Chamor, the son of Chedekem, the son of Pered, saying, Get me this damsel for a woman. And Chamor, the son of Chedem, rather, Chedekem, the Shev Chivri, Chivi, came to the house of Shechem, his son. And he sat before him. And Chamor said unto his son, Shechem, Is there then no woman amongst the daughters of your people that you will take an Ivri woman who is not of your people? And Shechem said to him, Her only must you get for me, for she is delightful in my sight. And Chamor did according to the word of his son, for he was greatly beloved by him. And Chamor went forth to Yaakov to commune with him concerning this matter. And when he had gone from the house of his son Shechem, before he came to Yaakov to speak unto him, behold, the sons of Yaakov had come from the field as soon as they heard the thing that Shechem, the, the son of Chamor, had done. And the men were very much grieved concerning their sister. And they all came home, fired with anger, before the time of gathering in their cattle. And they came and sat before their father, and they spoke unto him, kindled with wrath, saying, Surely death is due to this man and to his household. Because Yahuwah Elohim of the whole earth commanded Noah and his children that man shall never rob nor break wedlock. Now behold, Shechem has both ravaged and committed fornication with our sister. And not one of all the people of the city spoke a word to him. Surely you know and understand that the judgment of death is due to Shechem and to his father and to the whole city on account of the thing which he has done. And while they were speaking before their father in this matter, behold, Chamor, the father of Shechem, came to speak to Yaakov the words of his son concerning Dina. And he said before Yaakov and before his sons, Rather, and he sat before Yaakov and before his sons. And Chamor spoke unto them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longs for your daughter. I pray you give her unto him for a woman, and intermarry with us. Give us your daughters, and we will give you our daughters, and you shall dwell with us in our land, and we will be as one people in the land. For our land is very extensive, so dwell ye and trade therein, and get possessions in it, and do therein as you desire, and no one shall prevent you by saying a word to you. And Chamor ceased speaking unto Yaakov and his sons, and behold, Shechem his son had come after him, and he sat before them. And Shechem spoke before Yaakov, and his sons, saying, May I find favor in your sight, that you will give me your daughter, and whatsoever you say unto me, that will I do for her. Ask me for abundance of dowry and gift, and I will give it, and whatsoever you shall say unto me, that will I do. And whosoever he be that will rebel against your orders, he shall die. Only give me the damsel for a woman. And Shimon and Levi answered Chamor and Shechem, his son, deceitfully, saying, All you have spoken unto us, we will do for you. And behold, our sister is in your house, but keep away from her until we send to our father Yitzchak concerning this matter, for we can do nothing without his consent. For he knows the ways of our father Avraham, and whatsoever he says unto us, we will tell you. We will conceal nothing from you. 
And Shimon and Levi spoke this unto Shechem and his father in order to find a pretext and to seek counsel what was to be done to Shechem and to his city in this matter. And when Shechem and his father heard the words of Shimon and Levi, it seemed good in their sight, and Shechem and his father came forth to go home. And when they had gone, the sons of Yaakov said unto their father, saying, Behold, we know that death is due to these wicked ones and to their city, because they transgressed that which Elohim had commanded unto Noah and his children and his seed after them. And also because Shechem did this thing to our sister Dina in defiling her for such vileness, shall never be done amongst us. Now therefore know and see what you will do, and seek counsel and pretext what is to be done to them in order to kill all the inhabitants of this city. And Shimon said to them, Here is a proper advice for you. Tell them to circumcise every male among them as we are circumcised, and if they do not wish to do this, we shall take our daughter from them and go away. And if they consent to do this and will do it, then when they are sunk down with pain, we will attack them with our swords, as upon one who is quiet and peaceable. And we will slay every male person amongst them. And Shimon's advice advice pleased them, and Shimon and Levi resolved to do unto them as it was proposed. And on the next morning, Shechem and Chamor, his father, came again unto Yaakov and his sons to speak concerning Dina and to hear what answer the sons of Yaakov would give to their words. And the sons of Yaakov spoke deceitfully to them, saying, We told our father Yitzchak all your words, and your words pleased him. But he spoke unto us, saying, Thus did Avraham his father command him from Elohim Yahuwah of the whole earth, that any man who is not of his descendants that should wish to take one of his daughters shall cause every male belonging to him to be circumcised, as we are circumcised, and then we may give him our daughter for a woman." Now we have made known to you all our ways that our Father spoke unto us, for we cannot do this of which you spoke unto us, to give our daughter to an uncircumcised man, for it is a disgrace to us. But herein will we consent to you, to give you our daughter, and we will also take unto ourselves your daughters, and will dwell amongst you and be one people as you have spoken, if you will hearken to us and consent to be like us, to circumcise every male belonging to you as we are circumcised. And if you will not hearken unto us to have every male circumcised as we are circumcised, as we have commanded, then we will come to you and take our daughter from you, and go away. And Shechem and his father Chamor heard the words of the sons of Yaakov, and the thing pleased them exceedingly, and Shechem and his father Chamor hastened to do the wishes of the sons of Yaakov. For Shechem was very fond of Dina, and his soul was riveted to her. And Shechem and his father Hamor hastened to the gate of the city, and they assembled all the men of their city and spoke unto them the words of the sons of Yaakov, saying, We came to these men, the sons of Yaakov, and we spoke unto them concerning their daughter, and these men will consent to do according to our wishes. And behold, our land is of great extent for them, and they will dwell in it and trade in it, and we shall be one people. We will take their daughters, and our daughters we will give unto them for women. 
but only on this condition will these men consent to do this thing, that every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised, as their Elohim commanded them. And when we shall have done according to their instructions to be circumcised, then will they dwell amongst us together with their cattle and possessions, and we shall be as one people with them. And when all the men of the city heard the words of Shechem and his father Hamor, then all the men of their city were agreeable to this proposal, and they obeyed to be circumcised, for Shechem and his father Hamor were greatly esteemed by them, being the princes of the land. And on the next day, Shechem and Hamor, his father, rose up early in the morning, and they assembled all the men of their city into the middle of the city. And they called for the sons of Yaakov, who circumcised every male belonging to them on that day and the next. And they circumcised Shechem and Hamor, his father, and the five brothers of Shechem, and then everyone rose up and went home. For this thing was from Yahuwah against the city of Shechem, and from Yahuwah was Shimon's counsel in this matter, in order that Yahuwah might deliver the city of Shechem into the hands of Yaakov's two sons.